Hi everyone, today I wanted to do my top 5 pick of Yankee Candle scents and it was very very difficult for me because I tried over 50 different types of Yankee Candle scents and these are the best of the best for me. I believe scents is something really particular to every single person so I'm gonna start off with telling you what kind of room scents I really like. I usually quite like something um, fruity rather than floral because sometimes the floral scent is not done properly then I find it quite sickly so something like lavender or like hydrangea type of smell I find it too overwhelming for me and I don't really want to have it as a background smell all the time and I really like mango, tropical fruits and cherries and apples and something that's really delicious, fruity, authentic smell which are the type of scents I really like. I also really like citrus smell as well but I quite often if the citrus smell is not done properly it smells like a cleaning detergent like you know toilet wash or like a bathroom, bathroom wash type of smell and I don't really like that. So I really hope this video can be helpful to some of you especially if you're thinking of ordering some of the Yankee candles through online because if you don't live in state it's quite hard to get hold of Yankee candles and there aren't so many shops even in the UK so every time I buy Yankee candles it's most likely from the internet shop and the delivery costs and things like that are very very expensive so you want to be sure that you really like this scent and I'm gonna show you my top five in no particular order so the first one I want to share with you is this mango peachy salsa and it looks like this. And I believe if you go to any Yankee Candle website shop then you most likely come across this mango peach salsa because this is a permanent collection and it's one of the best sellers as well. And it just smells like really delicious bubble gum to me. It, it does not smell super mango-y but it's definitely the mixture of the tropical fruit and I can definitely get like a small hint of apple, small hints of kiwi and a little bit of mango and loads of peach actually and as you can see from the picture you get like peach and apple and mango and things like that and then I think it's really really nice and the scent throw of this is I would say medium. This is definitely not the strongest I've tried but it's very nice as a background sort of room scent. So if you're burning this in a small room then you might find it slightly stronger than you want it to be but it's still it's very pleasant and it doesn't make you feel like really sick and things like that so I really really like this one. And the next one I want to share with you is black cherry and I also really like the cherries on snow from Yankee Candles. I believe it was the uh, Christmas collection a few years back. And it was a really tight call. Black cherry is slightly stronger than the cherries on snow. And they both smell quite similar to marzipan, like from the wax. But when this candle is burning two to three hours in, like it loses its mazipanness and it sort of brings out like more cherry, like tart, really sweet cherry jam type of smell and I absolutely love it. It's very very delicious scent and the scent throw of this candle is also medium so it's not super strong, it's not super weak and this large jar would give out quite a lot of scents in a small room. So like if you have a really large living room then you might not smell as much as you want it to be but if you're burning it in a sort of like a large bathroom or small living room then I think this one gives out more than enough scent. And the next one is Sugared Apple and it came out in 2012 Christmas collection so it just came out in a few months ago and this one smells like caramel to me like with the hints of apple like it says sugared apple but it's more like like a lot of brown burnt sugar with the hints of apple and especially when it's burning it loses its like appleiness and it sort of leaves really nice um, expensive sugary brown type of smell and I really really like it and if you are the type of person who are into sweet type of scents and especially like a sugar and bakery type of scents then I think you'd absolutely love this scent and this one actually sugared apple came in 2011 in May as a limited collection and they changed the packaging completely for the 2012 Christmas collection but it's exactly the same thing and this is the repurchase for me because I bought the limited collection from the 2011 and I burnt it completely and when this came out in the winter I was so excited because I absolutely love this smell and I just had to buy it and I haven't started burning yet so I'm really really looking forward to this. 
And this one was also a limited collection from last year and, and it's called Chocolate Layer Cake. It's one of the Eat Dessert First collection. And Yankee Candle actually did the chocolate based scents a few years back with the chocolate bunny collection around the Easter time. And that one was really not that great. It just smelled like diluted chocolate like with water. Like if you smell cocoa powder in a hot water then it smells like that with a small hint of chemical type of background smell to it and that was just really really not good but this time they did really really well like when it's burning it's super duper chocolatey it's definitely not like a real authentic chocolate bar type of smell but it's more like a bakery chocolate type of smell so if you're baking like a chocolate fondant or chocolate mousse or like if you're having um hot chocolate then this is exactly how it smells like and if i'm burning this throughout the day and my husband comes back then he thinks i've been baking some chocolate cake if you're not really into chocolatey type of smell, do not get it because it's just super duper chocolatey and it makes your whole house smells like chocolate. This smell is so strong that it lingers on for quite a long time after like blowing the candles off. And this sells up really really quickly on online. I am thinking if I should have a backup or not because I'm sure it's gonna be completely sold out and they are not manufacturing anymore. So. Yeah, I probably should pick up my backup. And the last one, I have it in a sample size and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I have it in a sample size. And this is chamomile tea. So, um, this one came out in 2012 last year in an autumn collection and I was not expecting anything from this chamomile tea candles because I don't really like the smell of like actual chamomile tea bags at all but when I smell this it's nothing like chamomile tea at all so if you imagine really fresh chamomile flower and, re and reduce all the greenness and grassiness from that smell and add some really sweet scents to it then it smells like this it smells very very nice fresh almost fruity almost edible floral scents that's quite feminine and it just smells absolutely gorgeous but the scent throw of this is so high that if you live in a small house or like if you want to burn it in a small area with a large jar then that would be too too much so like this sample of size, like even this tiny in a living room is more than enough. Like it would give out with a similar amount of scent as a large jar of this like a black cherry thing. And if you put it in a proper container and burn it properly and it definitely lasts you around like 14 to 15 hours. I really think this chamomile tea Yankee candle and as a background scent is absolutely gorgeous so these are my top five but there are so many other scents that i really really like from yankee candles but these are the definite top five that i cannot live without and if you have a yankee candle shop nearby and if you are trying to choose your yankee candles you have to be careful even if you smell it from um, the wax or lid you're supposed to smell the yankee candles from the lid because you get all the notes from the top notes to the last notes it's quite different when it's burning, especially to, like when it's burning into two to three hours. Some of the candles smells completely different from how it smells from the jar and how it's in the air. Quite often, most of the Yankee candle scents get slightly warmer when it's burning than the wax. For example, sugar apple, like you definitely get uh, quite a lot of apple from the wax when it's not burning but when it's burning you get a lot of brown sugar and caramels and that type of really sweetness comes out from this sense also if you can order sampler size before committing to the large jar then i highly recommend doing so because i had lots of surprises like good surprises and bad surprises by having lots of samplers and quite often i'm so glad i wasn't committed to the large jar and i ordered the sampler before i hope you enjoyed and i really hope it was helpful to some of you who are trying to make up your mind which one to get and i will speak to you soon bye